All great players pull the club and players that really struggle push the club. Now let me give you an example of this. What I usually see with players when they start their downswing, that right elbow starts to pop out. They start to push the club with the right hand, pushing it this way, pushing it with the right shoulder. That causes that club to get steeper in the downswing. And then from there, we're pushing it all the way through contact. We're looking from face on. We're trying to accelerate this thing by pushing it through toward the target. Now, that's not a very efficient way to make it happen. And if you do that, your tens are going to get that club steep and then stand up out of the shot, flip so that you don't have very much lag, you're casting it, all those problems that just drive us nuts. Well, here's what's going on. If I take this club and it's lagging behind, so the club's head is over here, I'm gonna pull straight up on the shaft and that club is gonna shoot forward like that. Now, if I took the club and put it the other way and I pulled up on it, it would shoot backwards. So both times I'm pulling up, the club is shooting in different directions based on where the club is and if I'm pushing versus pulling. So in the golf swing, what I see a lot of players doing is instead of pulling up and leading the way, letting this club kind of whip through there, what they're trying to do is get the club in front of their hands and push the club through there. Not very efficient. It's almost like I'm flipping and I'm pushing the head through contact, which is why most golfers don't have very much lag and very much forward shaft lane. So long story short, let me go ahead and show you the right way to do this. Now, if you imagine again on that, that example where I'm pulling up, when I'm pulling in this direction, that club is kicking to want to line up with the direction that I'm pulling. Now on the golf swing, that's lag. So if I'm here with a bunch of lag, I'm kind of pulling down in this direction. And I'm constantly pulling slightly in front of the golf club, so it's constantly wanting to whip forward to accelerate the club. As I come down farther in the swing, now I'm clearing my body out of the way. So here I can pull up in this direction. And really what makes a big difference there is my left hip and my left shoulder are coming up and out. My right, my right hand is feeling like it's pulling here. So it's actually pulling up on the grip this direction, going that way as I'm coming through contact. So I'm not hitting or pushing down. I'm actually got some lag and I'm pulling this grip back up with my right hand to get the club to whip on through there. So what I want you to do to feel this is just swing the club four or five times with just your right hand and feel like you pull up on the club just right as it's lagging behind there, and it's gonna to wanna to kick forward like that. It's gonna whip through contact like that. That's that snap that you wanna have at impact. Now I'm gonna make my downswing, and I wanna feel the same thing. I'm gonna feel that same club wanting to whip through there, and I have to move my body a little open, get the club kinda of lagging behind to make that happen. You're almost gonna to wanna to feel like this club, as you do that, it just kinda of flies away from your body. It's being pulled out away from you. You get great extension through the shot when that happens. And that's what you want to feel like if you're going to be consistent. That's the only way to really be consistent in golf. So let's hit one like that and we're going to see, I'm going to smooth really, I'm going to swing really smooth and let's see what kind of club head speed I get. So I'm not going to feel like I go at it hard. I'm going to be really smooth, but I'm going to get that same feeling that club just whips through contact because I'm pulling on it rather than trying to push the golf club toward the golf ball. There we go. Nice little draw. Felt like I barely swung at all 196 yards with that six iron. So pretty daggone good there. Now that whipping action is what allows you to be consistent. If I'm pushing, there's no whipping action. The club is, I'm having to steer and guide the club head. The cool thing about this, I can do the exact same thing, except I can go ahead and do down the line. So when I'm looking at this, it's going to also help me to get that draw. That exact same idea. So when we're looking from this angle, imagine that club is inside my hands, shallowed out. Now as I pull my hands, it's wanting to kick out toward the golf ball. As I come in here, my hands start to work back up and to the left as my body opens up, my hips, my shoulders open up, my hands go back that way. So if you imagine my hands are kind of on this plane of glass and I'm getting my hands working back up that plane of glass as the club is working down it. So even, the, even though the club is swinging from the inside and swinging inside out, the hands are working back up and in. And that's so confusing because most players, when they try to hit out more, they have to push it. So I'm trying to push the club out and my hands are still working out, that's not gonna be very consistent. I wanna pull my hands in and have the club work out. So I'm basically doing this. I'm getting the club to the inside, I'm opening and letting that club shoot from the inside. So you'll notice my hands start to work back up and in slightly. 
is that club still works down and out. That's really consistent. If I try to push my hands that way, then it doesn't really work that great. So again here, I'm gonna start this one a little bit to the right, get a nice little draw. I'm gonna feel like I swing just mildly more aggressive. Not hard, very, very smooth. I'm letting the club whip action, move the club head. I'm not gonna do it with a lot of muscular force. Let's try that out. So I know that ball is gonna turn over from right to left because I got the club to the inside. I let the momentum of it work that ball back over right to left. Again, 195 yard six iron, swinging really smooth. Man, I take that all day long. Now, there's one thing you have to do to make this happen. You'll notice that when I talked about those, those hands moving up and in, that only works if I'm close to the ground. So if I stand up out of my posture, I start getting the club steep, I'm getting farther away from the golf ball as I'm swinging down. Now, I can't pull my hands up and in because I'd miss the golf ball. So for example, let's say I have to release this club all the way to its longest distance from my body to be able to reach the golf ball. Well, if I was to swing up and in doing that, I'd just swing right over top of it. So what the pros are doing is they're staying in their posture. They're staying down, keeping in their posture. They're getting closer to the ground and their hands are getting closer to the ground. So now when they swing up and in, they have tons of shaft lean and the club can still hit the ball and make a nice clean divot. That's, uh, there's a video that I have, a drill that I have that makes this really intuitive. I call it the knuckle dragger. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you're gonna feel like your hands are scraping the ground and that's gonna put you in a position to where you're gonna stay in your posture automatically. You're gonna get shaft lean automatically. You're gonna do a lot of really good things automatically once I walk you through what you should feel. Your hands should feel like they're a certain height in relationship to your legs. And once you start to feel that, it's like, okay, now it makes sense how I could pair all this together, how I could pull the club and get it to whip through there and still be able to reach the golf ball when I do that. So I'll play a preview of that video here in just one second. All you need to do is go ahead and click the card that pops up somewhere on your screen here. Don't worry if you don't see one of those cards, just go down to the link in the description below and you'll get instant access to the knuckle dragger video there. It's gonna be a real eye opener, a real game changer for you. I can't wait to share with you some of the secrets of how to move your hands in, your, in relationship to your legs. It's gonna finally tie this together for you. Let's go and get started now. Got an awesome video for you. This one is what I call knuckle dragger. And this is one of the best ones, one of the big missing pieces to players that are struggling to get more lag. Now let's talk about when you lose lag, what's happening. A lot of times what's happening is as you make your downswing, if we're looking from this down the line view, what happens is my hips go toward the golf ball. They start to slide forward. My chest moves back away from this golf ball. So I'm getting farther away from the golf ball. And then all of a sudden I cast, I flip, and I don't have a lot of lag there. Well, look how far my hands are away from the ground. Also notice when I get my hands closer to the ground, so as my hands get lower, then what happens is they also go forward more. So as I want to have more lag, when you feel like your knuckles are dragging the ground, then that club is naturally going to lag back behind, and then you're going to release that out in front. When your hands are far away from the ground, well, if I had all that lag, where would I be swinging? I'd be swinging a foot over top of the golf ball. So you have to kind of flip, release that lag early to just make contact with the golf ball at all. So having those knuckles feeling like they're scraping the ground is really gonna be a big key. Now, another piece to this, again, when I talked about having, losing that posture, your hips go forward. You're gonna to wanna to feel like, as those hands scrape the ground, your knuckles drag the ground. 